What's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about the Lowe's accounts receivable card. So this is the card that is uh, has to be paid in full every month. So um, this card is underwritten by Synchrony Bank. Um, I was approved for 3,500. I did request 5,000. So when you do the application, it allows you to put requested credit line. I put 5,000 and approved for 3,500. Um, no personal credit check, no annual fee. Um, or any of that just business credit only um this particular business um this year made it three years that this business has been in business so i'm not sure exactly how many um years the business have to be in business to get approved but uh that's my data point on it uh far as uh this car i probably got denied maybe 20 something times or even more for this car so literally i've just been applying 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 like since last year sometime i just keep applying for this car week after week or like every two weeks every month i apply for this car get denied every time i threw all the letters away because i was getting bad but i finally kept these last two letters here's why i say synchrony is full of shit. not not to say anything wrong with synchrony i love y'all thank y'all for approving me but everybody's gonna run into these problems so when you run into these problems don't think it's the end of the world keep pushing if you can read this if if, if the phone and stuff makes this pretty clear what does that say unable to verify business address after i did the application it had a number on there it says you know application under review call this number i called the number got on the phone with somebody they said okay what's your business name what's your name yada 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 I confirmed all of this. Oh, and then they said, okay, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're unable to approve your application. You'll get the letter in the mail. Dude, I was on the phone with you. Why were you not able to verify the business address? You're not doing that. You're working from home. Why are you not able to verify my business address? Then somebody gonna say in the comments, well, have you registered with 411? Have you did? Come on, I did. Really? Yes, I did all that. Come on, I don't play on my top. But anyways, unable to verify business. Un unable to verify business address and this letter was sent out uh january 29th um this one was uh january 15th so literally a week before what does that say same thing again unable to verify business address then all of a sudden i let a little bit more time go by then i get approved for the car now i get a letter in the mail saying i got approved um it wasn't an instant approval it said you know application under review i called the number and then um they was able to you know go ahead and prove me over the phone i did uh record the conversation so i will upload that with the video uh of them saying that i got approved for 3500 um we was on the phone for maybe five minutes or so him verifying everything getting everything done but that just doesn't make any sense how all of a sudden this phone call y'all was able to get everything approved and that's just with synchrony bank i haven't had the issue with nobody else synchrony bank gonna tell you unable to verify business address unable to verify business name all kind of foolery for no reason so if you run into these issues it's not the end of the world it's not you there's nothing you can do but to keep applying for this card and the same thing and again with business credit there is no uh thing like with personal credit you have to worry about inquiries or anything just keep applying until you get approved like literally no cap i probably had to do this application probably 20 something times or even more even though i'm the credit person i know about credit i had to do this application multiple times why i didn't get approved on the first trial whatnot i don't know nothing changed from when i first applied to now nothing at all business credit stayed the same so i can't tell you why i got denied or anything like that they all said the same thing unable to verify business name business address um i think one of them said something about the business credit but again nothing has changed from the beginning to now when i applied but i finally got approved for 3500 why did i go with this one this is the card that i felt like i would get approved for you know after being denied all those times i just say you know this is the card i'm gonna just stick with i'm not even gonna try with the revolving line or anything like that um so yeah that's why i went with this one you can try the other ones if you want to uh i may include in this video the application what i filled out and uh, you put no personal guarantee on here. Um, it does have an option for personal guarantee, but put no. Um, so I did get this card, no personal credit check. Um, so yeah, so with me getting denied all those times, another thing as well that I tried but didn't really do, but possibly could help you if you got denied or if you want to make sure you get approved. Right here, I have the Lowe's uh, Reloadable card, Lowe's for Pros Reloadable card. So what you can do, get this card first before you do anything. This is not a... a credit card this is just a debit prepaid card right get this card low money on here use the money at low show some transactions going in and out build up your business credit 
then apply for this card. This possibly can help you go ahead and get your application approved. Now, for me, um, I still probably have not. I don't even think I activated this card. I think the only thing I did was uh, register my um, app access, the online registration. Other than that, I have not used this card. So maybe, you know, the concept probably will work, but I just never fell through with it because there's nothing that loads that I need or anything. I didn't feel like wasting no money. So I never put money on here and did the process, but I'm sure... Or I feel as if if you use this card, put money on it and everything, this possibly can help you get approved for the credit card when you go to apply. That's just what I think. I'm not sure if that'll really help, but that is a possibility. Just try getting the Lowe's Proposed Reloadable card, put some money on it, use it, show transactions and everything, get your actual Lowe's Proposed account for your business, and then apply for this, and then maybe that'll help you out. If not, skip this part. You may not want to do this. Just keep applying until you get approved. Um, so yeah, I did want to share that with y'all. That's the Lowe's Proposed. I finally got approved, 3500 I'm talking about, man, I've been applying for this car forever. Uh, same thing with Home Depot. I keep applying for the car. That's a different underwriter. The underwriter for that is City. But again, again, I got, all right, this is another thing. City Synchrony, I don't know what's going on. Like the business credit, they have like some funny stuff going on. So City, as I shared in my previous video, I have the Staples and Office Depot card. Both of those cards are underwritten by City. So how do I get approved for a city and a, uh, how do I get approved for an Office Depot and a Staples card? But then when I apply for the Home Depot, I get denied, which is underwritten by the same people, but y'all got different underwriting criteria when they're both written, underwritten by the same bank. Then I tried to apply recently for the uh, Honda uh, Sports commercial card or whatnot. That's underwritten by Synchrony. Guess what? I got denied. So how can you approve me for two cards, which y'all then deny me for the rest of them? And then when i actually you know why was i denied they say that um you don't meet the underwriter criteria blah 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 but if i made it for your other cars how am i not meeting it for this one you know it, it may genuinely be different underwriting criteria but it doesn't make sense because it's all underwritten by the same people so why would you have different um underwritings and then they don't offer no cross corporate guarantee which doesn't make any sense so you know you may run into these issues where you apply for something you get denied you may get this card with synchrony or city but can't get the rest of them I've experienced it. Um, you know, I don't really know why. I don't really care because I have American Express other cards. So, literally, like this, probably like the farthest I get with the business credit. I got my fuel cards, got those cards and stuff, and then I'll probably do this for the rest of my businesses and try to find other stuff. But after a while, I think you can use your personal credit to get cards and stuff. You know, you really don't have to waste your time with this stuff. Like, if you just really want, um. Bank of America business cards, you know, real bank business cards, just get your personal credit right and, and uh, personal guarantee those and you can skip all this net 30 stuff and whatnot. But I mean, it's always good to, you know, have both of them. You can personal guarantee for business credit cards and have the no business credit credit cards. So they're both good to have. But, you know, if you're a person, your personal credit good. If you want to skip all this, you can. Um, in my opinion, in my situation, my credit was good. So I still did it anyways. It's just up to you. It, it can be frustrating and aggravating because you're applying for this card. You keep getting denied. You're like, I done did everything. I did the 411, got the EIN. I built my Dun & Bradstreet. You did all the bells and whistles and you still getting denied. And it's literally not you. It's them wanting to play games. Why are they playing games? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I finally got approved. Just wanted to share that with y'all. I put 5000 got 3500 um as the credit line. Um, I'm not sure if I would have put 10,000 or something higher would they have given me a, a higher credit line, but I do know on my business credit with some of the credit lines that I have, um, you know, the 3,500, you know, it's, it's kind of reasonable due to what kind of lines I already have reporting. Um, so I'm not mad about it. I'm happy with the 3,500. Um, it is a net 30. I do believe recently when I sent on the website, you may be able to have the option to get this extended to a net 60. Um, but I just chose net 30 option because that's what I felt like I would get approved for it. But I believe it does have net 60 version as well. Um, and then when do I plan on applying for the revolving line? I don't know. I'll probably just keep this card and just uh, swing it out with that. If not, I may apply for the uh, revolving one. I'm not sure just yet. Um, but yeah, that's it with this card. Um, business is uh, three years. I did have business credit for all three credit bureaus. Um, what was the scores for all three? I don't remember, and I'm not about to pull it up right now, but um, I did have scores for all of them. Um, so with Synchrony, I have Sam's, Lowe's, and maybe something else. For me. I can't think right now, but that, I think them the only two that I have right now with Synchrony. 
and then um Wix, you know, I have the ones I showed y'all in my last video. Um, then City, I have the Staples and Office Depot. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Hopefully, y'all learned a little something about you know the underwriting process. You know, there's really nothing that you can do. You just have to keep applying for these cards. Um, and then literally, like I said, I was applying week after week, month, you know, every month. So you don't have to wait a specific time frame in between each application. Just keep applying until you get through. Um, you know, you may talk to them on the phone. They may recommend wait 30 days or hire. Just keep applying because there's no, there's not like personal credit. You have to wait and all that stuff for a credit to update. Just keep applying until you get approved. Um, what else is the note there? Um, I think that's it. So thank y'all for watching. Go out and apply for this card. I hope y'all get approved. And then I include in this video, um, the conversation of me getting approved. And then I'll possibly upload, um, which card you're going to click on to apply for and just make sure you put no personal guarantee. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the rest of my video. All right, so when you get to the website, this is the card right here. And you hit apply now. All right, and now you're on this part. You put all your business information and all that stuff. For requested credit line, just put like what's um, reasonable. Like think about what you already got reporting to your business credit and then put them out there. And then as you get to like the next page, I don't feel like putting in fake information or nothing, but once you get to like the next page and stuff, you ask you, do you want to do a personal guarantee or you'll put no, and then just finish out the application. So just make sure you put in no for personal guarantor. Thank you for calling Lowe's Accounts Receivable Account Management. We appreciate the opportunity to assist you. An account manager will be with you as soon as possible. For Lowe's Credit Services, who am I speaking with today? I'm sorry, what do you say your name was again? Thank you. Can you please uh, tell me the name of your business? All right, thank you. Sir, stay in the line for a couple of minutes or three. Allow me to review this application first. Okay. Thank you. I'm still reviewing the application, sir. One moment. Okay. All right, Jeff, thank you for your patience. Sir, what is your phone number or the phone number registered for the business? Is that a cell phone, sir, or landline? Cell phone. 
All right, in order to confirm your identity and protect yourself from identity theft, I would like to send you a one-time passcode through text at his number. Once you receive the code, please read the numbers back to me. Standard text messaging and call rates may apply depending on your phone plan. Would it be okay? Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, passcode is sent. Can you check the message, please? Okay. Yeah, that code is... All right, perfect. I'm now completing your application. One moment, please, okay? Okay. Thank you. What is your position or title in the business, sir? Are you the owner? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you for your pay. Congratulations, applications are approved for $3,500. The card will arrive in seven to 10 days in a plain white and marked envelope. Anything else today? Oh, no, that'll be it, thank you. Thank you for calling Lowe's Credit Services. You have a good day and you stay safe, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.